Welcome, this is your 5 minute geography lesson. We're covering theme 1, element 8, coastal processes. Open up your revision guides. I'm Mr S and I'll be your 5 minute teacher. Our coasts are shaped by several different processes, including those that we've mentioned in a past lesson, 1.4, main processes. But let's start with weathering for today. Weathering can be split up into three different sections. So we've got chemical weathering. That's when the slightly acidic nature of water in rain and in the sea reacts with the carbonates in certain types of rock like limestone. So they end up dissolving or making cracks bigger until the rock structure becomes so weak that it collapses or we start to see these large ponds or pools being created. We also have biological weathering. So this can be animals burrowing into this, uh, this, uh, the soil or rock and weakening the structure or it can be like in this diagram where we have plants and trees that grow into the soil and then their roots start to make their way into the imperfections, the joints and bedding planes of the rock. As the plants grow, their roots become bigger and they start to split the rock, making it weaker. And then finally, probably the one that you're most familiar with, freeze fall weathering, which is sometimes called physical weathering. So this is the process of where water gets into cracks during the day at night that water freezes as the temperature drops and as water freezes it expands so it's going to start expanding the crack during the day that melts again and because the rocks expanded slightly it can fit more water in which when it freezes the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats until the rock splits entirely so that's our weathering we then have mass movement mass movement happens at the, the coast on cliffs and it, again it can be split into three different set types so mass movement is the downhill movement of material under the influence of gravity. So they all look very similar, but they all do something slightly different. Rockfall is the weathering process that we've already mentioned, merely acting at the top of the cliff. Things like biological weathering and freeze fall weathering will take small chunks of the cliff, erode them to the point where they can't uh, withstand, and then they'll fall away. So these are small chunks. So boulders but nothing bigger. We then have landslides. Now landslides are huge chunks of the cliff moving down the slope and parts of the cliff that are going to start moving are along the bedding plane. So this is the layers of sedimentary rock that have built up over millennia and when they weaken it's the entire bedding plane or this part of the rock along the bedding plane that will slide down. So they're huge chunks of rock which are represented by these big chunks here. And then we have slumping, and slumping happens with soft rock, like clays. When water gets in, or when erosion from the base of the cliff happens, the entire cliff face will move down. So it's not like a bit of rock falling away like it is from rock falls or landslides. The entire side of the cliff will slip away. So you'll notice it's doing it in this rotation, in a curve, and it comes, just spreads out along the beach. So this is called rotational slip and it's the entire nature of the rock because it's so wet to start with and the water's made it worse or the erosion has taken the base of it away then it's just going to slide all the way down. Well short and sweet but that brings our lesson to an end. We'll continue at your own pace by completing the now try it test for homework. Class dismissed.